Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood Natty here. My name is Matthew. In today's video, I'm going to kind of show how far I can get for assembling the Colt 1878 uh, double action 45 Colt. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, I actually can't get it together. Um, I can get it probably like 99% of the way through. And then the guard, this one right here, this is the guard for the, uh, the gun, it won't fit. You know, it won't fit flush. It will kind of just, it'll sit in there. And then there's like uh, a lot of space left. So this is what it's supposed to look like, obviously. It's supposed to look completely normal. And when I put it together, we're not gonna see that. So um, I'm making this because I actually contacted Colt because I tried to figure out how this gun gets put back together. I thought I was doing something wrong. They said that the best they could do is refer me to Peacemaker Specialists. And I was, spoke to the lady there. And so we agreed that I would send pictures through email of me putting it together. Just so we could figure out why the trigger guard won't sit flush. And that was fine. Except that the email was too big. So it, it just refused to send. So this is kind of my, my second option. Is like, well, I'll just make a video and then I'll let her know that she can watch it. And then she, her colleagues as well, can watch it, and then hopefully we can figure out what's going on with it, um, and why it won't, uh, it won't be reassembled correctly. So, let's go ahead and put it together. First, we're going to need the saddle, that is this part right here, and it can be separated from the handspring. This part here, this uh, flat spring, pushes on the cylinder hand, and then this guy interacts with the. The hammer so he goes in first <clears throat> usually you just kind of have to slip him in there just kind of sneaky slip him in there like that okay now what we're gonna want to do is get the cylinder hand this is a little tricky but this guy so he's gonna want to be in the cylinder window the best thing I can do is that I typically have him preset in the cylinder window and then somehow slide him into the uh, this hole here is where he goes so um, <clears throat> I may have to do it flat now so you won't be able to see it because I don't need things to move when I'm trying to put them into place okay so now I just need to put him over the saddle. Come on now. Mm. This is a lot easier to do when you're not trying to make a YouTube video at the same time. Surprisingly. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> oh my gosh. He, he, he just really doesn't want to work. Come on. Uh, all right, you know what? what? I may have to do is, okay, I'm gonna do it off camera. Well, I'm gonna do it like, like, I'm, gonna, I'm basically gonna do it and then show you later. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Okay, here we go. So, you wanna be a problem, huh? Maybe it's more of the, uh, it's more of the saddle that wants to be a problem. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. You really have to place him in the lower left corner just to get them to slip over. Okay, are you ready? Oh my gosh. That's it. That's all I was trying to do. That's why, oh my god, it made my life a nightmare, really. So yes, preset the cylinder hand in the window is the easiest part of it, and then you just slip the backside over the saddle. It's just really hard to do when you're filming a YouTube video, I guess. Um, okay, anyways, next part, what do we want to put in? I think it's going to be the sear. So the sear is this guy right here. And... The way it interfaces on the hammer is 
this catch part end is going to be on the right side, right? So if we have the hammer here, just think about when you cock the gun, so you got that first safety, which isn't a safety, then you've got the load and unload, right? And then the final one is going to be the trigger and uh, the hammer ready to, to fire, right, when you pull the trigger. So, so that's the direction that it goes. So I like to put this in first because it's just, it gives me a lot less nightmares than if I try to make that last. When you put in the hammer, it connects everything together. Um, oh, are we going to try to do this? <clears throat> um, we'll try. Okay, so the pins for these, so we got a pin for the sear, sear pin and then a trigger pin. They're the same size and same diameter. I've switched them both and it doesn't matter. They, they both fit. Um, so it's interchangeable. So let me let me lock the sear into place here and then we will go to the next step. I'm going to do it a little flat here just so it gets done basically is what I want. Okay. Now let's go this direction. Come on. There we go. Okay. So the sear's pin is now in, the sear is in, everything is good. Now let's put in the, um, the mainspring. So that's this here. The mainspring, you can see that stirrup right here, this guy. He's going to catch the hammer. Um, he's going to catch this on the hammer. Doop. Just like that. Beautiful. So let's put him in first. So we've got the mainspring in. There we go. Now we're going to drop in our hammer and uh, try to get him to catch that stirrup. Okay. I apologize if you can't see too much. I'm, I just want. Uh, I'm just. I'm more focused on getting this done. <laughs> more focused on getting it done. Oh man, I missed it. I thought I caught it. There we go. We've caught the stirrup. Okay, so what is next? Next, I think we should. <sighs> Let me put in the trigger roll pin. Um, now we haven't put in the trigger or the trigger return spring, but I'm just doing it because I, if that's not in the right position, then it's hard to catch the hammer for the hammer screw. So let's just set this guy first just to put him in place and he doesn't, you know, <clears throat> want to be a problem for us. So temporarily we're going to put in the, oh, that's another thing. So the trigger roll pin, uh, or that hole at least, it's super loose. So it's very easy to just fall right through. And it didn't matter if I used the other roll pin as well. They're, they're both the same. So I think something about this trigger hole, um, it's, uh, what would it be, oversized on purpose. And I think once you push the trigger, the guard in, when it's set correctly, it puts pressure. Because it wasn't like that when I got the gun. Like this pin was not easy to move like that. So that's okay. We'll solve that later. <clears throat> so now... Ooh, I almost lost it. Come on, don't do that to me. Now what we want to do is we want to push the hammer in and the holes, um, let me see, I'll put it on camera for you. So basically we want to line them up like that. You see that? You see how it lines up perfectly like that? That's what we want to do. And we're going to want to put in the, the hammer screw, which is this. And this hammer screw is the only one on the gun it is lefty tighty righty loosey so it's not it's not what you think it's this one goes opposite it's the only one that does it so that's something to keep in mind now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay I'm gonna push this in and I'm gonna push the screw in from the other side I think I should do it opposite oh my god we just lost the oh okay now you now you know <laughs> now now you know the pain. All right, so okay, I'm gonna do it off camera. That way, it gets done. So, give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> 
Okay, so I've got the hammer screw in there and you can see that um, the hand spring is interfaced there. So the flat spring is pushing on the hand, you know, and then the round part is connected to the hammer. That's its resting position. And yeah, well, not anymore. <laughs> Who knows what's going on there, but it's okay. So now we're gonna put in the lock plate, which is this here. The thing about this is that um, you have to push the screw out. <laughs> you have to give it room in order to settle. And then, well, let's do it here. So I'm gonna push this screw out just to give enough room for the lock plate to fall into place. So it can be incredibly fickle. I do not, do not like it at all. Oof, sometimes it makes me wonder if I have to go less on the hammer screw. There it goes. Okay, finally. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is push on this to make sure it's flush and then we're going to screw in this one and remember it is lefty tighty righty loosey so let us screw this in on the left well let me push it in first yep make sure you get your threads now we can screw it in Come on, baby. Okay. And it is gorgeous. All right. The screw is in. Lock plate is in. Making cock. Um, <clears throat> now, as far as it not catching on the sear, I'm guessing there's a sear spring. This guy right here. Um, once he's screwed in, and it's not going to happen because the trigger guard won't settle, but once that happens, that pushes on the sear, and then that would, I think that would make the hammer catch the first, second, and third clicks. So, and we just lost our roll pin, but you know what? That's fine, because we're going to now put in our trigger return spring. Um, this guy right here. Trigger return spring. And then our trigger. This one right here. Now, our saddle has a stirrup or it has a thing to catch as well, and we want to catch it with this trigger return stirrup. That's what we want to do. So, tricky, tricky, tricky. I'll try it on camera. If we fail, then I'm gonna do it off camera. You'll just have to trust me. So, it's gonna catch it this way. Uh, hold on. It's gonna catch it this way, not this way. The uh, underhand. <laughs> So let's see if I can do it on camera. So I like to put it upside down like this because it kind of makes the that um, catch easier. Okay, so I caught it. Now you gotta be you gotta be careful because if you if you lose that that catch, you have to start over. <laughs> you have to start over. Okay, so I'm gonna set in the trigger, and then it's very delicate, but basically. You're gonna push back on the trigger to get everything to line up. And then we're gonna try to settle in our roll pin. Oh, beautiful. So once the roll pin's in, I like to pull on the trigger return spring to make sure it's catching, and it is. So that's good. We are so close to being done, even though it won't be assembled correctly, but it's okay. So now, what we wanna do is um, we can push our trigger return spring back into its place. We can place the sear spring. So this guy, remember, I was talking about this guy. He presses on the sear to make the hammer catch first, second, and third click. And he goes in that direction. He's orientated in that direction, okay? Um, I think we'll go ahead and basically just finish it. It won't work, but we're gonna finish it. Okay, so everything's in place. Here's the trigger guard. Now we place the guard over. Now it's not gonna um, fall in because it had, the hammer has to be cocked. And, and we'll, I'll do that, but regardless, it won't fully seat. So I wanna make sure you guys see that. I'm going to cock the hammer. It's gonna make the 
Yep, it's gonna make them fall. And there you go. So it is not as it's close to flush on the uh, you know closest to the hand guard but then like it's nowhere near on top in the front so you can see all that space that's still in there and I can press on here but it pushes from the other one and I you know they, they, they both have a job you know what I mean like this guy wants to push on the sear this guy wants to push on the trigger but you know it's like they can't they can't decide they they, they, they can't you know decide who gets to go first so now, um, so let's let me prove why I think that's the diagnosis. So now I'm gonna hold on to the trigger guard, and the reason why is because if I don't, when it's cocking through, everything's gonna fall out. So we can do it upside down. I think that'll be the most the most likely. So if I leave everything here, right, and I try to cock the hammer, okay, so it's it went to fire, so if I pull fire, right, the trigger doesn't return, you see? But I can push the trigger forward, and that click, it returned, right? So, you can see that it catches, well, kind of, sort of, so let me pull, push on the sear. If I push on the sear, I think you're going to see the, the hammer catch all three clicks. So, here's the safety click, there's the load-unload. There's, there's fire, you see? And when I pull on trigger, it doesn't return. The trigger doesn't return. So trigger return spring is not doing its job, right? Now if I don't push on the sear, um, I think you, the hammer is going to have trouble catching, you know, its clicks. You see? See? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So clearly, the, the trigger guard is not set in. The screw forces the sear spring to push on the sear to catch those clicks, the safety click, not really, um, the load, unload, and then the fire. Now here's another thing. If I push on the trigger return spring, remember this one? Watch this. If I push on this and I double action pull, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little dangerous. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It almost lost everything. Okay. So I'll try to push more on the middle of the guard, but middle in the front. So you'll see that if I double action it, See, it returns. <laughs> the, the, the trigger returns. So as long as I push on the trigger return spring, when I double act, it goes back. Right? I can, I can make it go back if I just push on the, uh, the sear. Or the sear. Trigger return. So once again, let me show. Double action, and then I push on the trigger return. It comes back. Double action. Push back. Clearly, clearly, the guard is not sitting where it's supposed to sit. Um, so, yes, uh, that's the best that I could do. Um, if you guys know anything about this model, I hope this video will help uh, Peacemaker Specialists and her colleagues, maybe. Um, maybe you guys can figure out what's going on. But uh, as far as the schematic, there's only one thing that... I may be missing which is like a latch spring but I think that has to more to do with this gate you know the loading gate of the single action which I never took apart so I mean clearly it's fine but yeah um, hopefully somebody out there knows anything if you can I'd love to hear about it other than that you guys have a good day and you take care now okay bye now